Our world is in a constant state of change. A growing population is demanding more of our natural resources. What are the potential impacts on nature and our environment? What are the potential impacts on human health? Texas Tech University's Institute of Environmental and Human Health is finding the answers. For more than 30 years, the Institute has trained the world's leading scientists with their graduate program in environmental toxicology. Over 30 years, we've graduated a lot of students that hold high-level positions all over the world now, in industry, government, academia, and so on. And so we have quite a network. And uh, from that, uh, we have a lot of uh, support and opportunities for future students. A student that walks into our program here and graduates, yeah, is 100% employment, uh, tremendous growth opportunity. The Institute of Environmental and Human Health is located in Lubbock, Texas, a thriving city of nearly a quarter million people. Students can enjoy the many attractions, including shopping, dining, and athletic events. So I started kind of thumbing through just college guides uh, and found Texas Tech, and I actually know of them about their football team. I love their passing game, and just we didn't have a, uh, a Division I football team in my undergrad school, so I thought it'd be fun to come to a big school, and uh, with the program's prestige, uh, I thought it was a great fit. It is also easy to find a fit among the diverse group of approximately 50 graduate students working on advanced degrees at the Institute. The smaller student class size allows for more individual attention from world-renowned scientists. It also allows for more hands-on student research. The administration believes research is an integral component to the success of the faculty and students. In recent years, the Institute has spent millions of dollars investing in state-of-the-art laboratories designed for toxicological, ecological, and biomedical research. Facilities are top-notch, and it's not just um, any one particular lab's facilities, but all of these working in unison. So the, the laboratories are state-of-the-art, they're spacious, and they're well-equipped. We work with people from all over the world, and basically people are coming here from all over the United States and all over the world. We are constantly told just what high quality uh, we have in, in laboratories, equipment, and so on. Researchers at the Institute of Environmental and Human Health take a collaborative approach with each project by working with other scientists across a wide variety of disciplines. Half of what we do, we end up collaborating with people outside of our department. And that may be people on campus or at other universities. Um, I know we have people that are collaborating with people at the Health Sciences Center. And um, I myself have collaborated already with people in chemical engineering and biology. And um, it's important because science isn't just, you know, it's not just one discipline. Every PhD student has to have uh, someone on their committee from outside of the department. So it forces you to go outside of the department to find someone who's doing similar research or has a knowledge base different than your own. Uh, so they actually uh, encourage it uh, quite heavily. The Institute believes hands-on research by faculty and students produces useful and significant data respected by the scientific community. Graduate students travel nationally and globally collecting samples to then research and solve the world's environmental issues. You're not limited to just what is around you. I mean, we have a lot of programs that look at potential effect of pollution in the area, which I think is great, but we also have programs where we're looking at pollution in different parts of the world or different parts of the country. So being landlocked is really not an issue as far as I concerned because the work is going to be done in the laboratory and once we have samples that are collected elsewhere, it can be brought into the laboratory and we can do the research that we want to do. Internationally recognized experts, high-tech laboratories, and a friendly and welcoming community will help keep the Institute of Environmental and Human Health a leader in toxicology research for years to come.